Good afternoon, and welcome to the LGBT Bars Dan Bradley and Leading Practitioner Awards launch. Please welcome to the stage Brad Richter, who is representing Freed Frank, today's luncheon sponsor and leader level sponsor of the Lavender Law Conference and Career Fair. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to the Dan Bradley Lunch and to Lavender Law 2019. I'm Brad Richter, Chair of the Trust and Estates Department, the law firm of Freed Frank, and a partner co-lead for Pride Alliance, its LGBT Employee Resource Group. It's an honor to be here to recognize the truly impressive contributions of Chai Feldblum, uh, this year's honoree, as well as as well as those of Tiffany Palmer and Fabiana Quaini, the leading practitioner honorees for this year. As well as to be at Lavender Law, which this year looks to be offering a range of uh, terrific and, and really diverse range of programs, recognizing both the dizzying progress that LD, LGBT persons have made over the last decade and a half or so, as well as more recent significant challenges they face. Uh, I'm also especially proud to be at Freed Frank this year and last year's Dan Brady uh, lunch sponsor and a leading sponsor of the LGBT Bar uh, Conference. Many firms now trumpet their LGBT initiatives as a selling carton. Don't get me wrong, I think that's awesome. But it feels especially good to be at a firm that for decades has been advancing LGBT rights long before it was popular to do so and whose commitment to advancing LGBT rights is based into the DNA uh, of its very being and the hopes of advancing rights for all. We trust you'll enjoy the conference this year uh, and enjoy this year's Dan Brady's Lunch. And without further delay, please allow me to welcome Darcy Chemnitz, Executive Director of the LBT Bar. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Mm, we appreciate your support so much. Brad just flew in from Barcelona, so thank you for making it. Uh, after getting off a plane, we know what that's like. So thank you, Brad, for that introduction, and special thanks to Fried Frank for supporting the Dan Bradley Luncheon again this year. And we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making this year's Lavender Law Conference and Career Fair possible, and for supporting the bar in our year-round advocacy efforts. We deeply appreciate not only your attendance at our conference, but also your support of the LGBT Bar's mission to be the voice of LGBT lawyers throughout the calendar year. As many of you know, this conference started as a small gathering of a few dozen lawyers and a little classroom, and now we're able to host over 1,500 of the best legal professionals, law students, and judges from around the world. It is truly a humbling experience. Please give yourself a round of applause for being part of the gathering, the largest event today in our 30 plus year history. Thank you for making that record with us this year. And yet as we gather for another year of celebration and coming together in the family reunion, it is important that we recognize and face the challenges confronting our community here in 2019. We are fighting against an administration that tirelessly seeks to roll back our hard-won rights. The appointment of an entire swath of federal judges, not to mention the Supreme Court appointment outrages, illustrate to us at the LGBT bar that we still lack clear and adequate federal laws safeguarding the rights of LGBTQ plus people and we will need more and better tools, not just litigation, but education, educating the public to protect ourselves and our families. While this legal landscape threatens the entire community, it is especially harmful to the very most vulnerable communities among us, including trans and non-binary people, including immigrants, people of color, our students in schools, and people along the border. And this is the playing field in front of us today. As lawyers, judges, academics, we hold the privileged power to create change through this profession. Some of you here have devoted your entire careers to social justice. Some of you push 
through for equality and visibility. You participate in diversity committees in your workplace, which is not always easy. Some of you here are law students working for improvements in your school, changing these hundreds of years old institutions. And some of you are just transforming your own communities by being out and being who you are. So especially if you're new to our community, if you're an ally, your very presence here today demonstrates your commitment to equality and to inclusion. The LGBT Bar is proud to support you, all of you, and all of our members. Over the next three days, our hope is that you form meaningful connections with each other, which will challenge you to grow intellectually and deepen your ability to advance LGBTQ plus equality wherever you may go. This year, the LGBT Bar especially strengthened our commitment to legal and equal opportunity for law students while we continue to fight for legislation to advance justice for all LGBTQ plus people. And here are some of the ways that we accomplished that mission this year. This year, we implemented our first annual, but never the last, our first annual law school climate survey. Prospective students choosing an institution to call home for the next three years shall be aware of the ways that law schools support their LGBTQ plus community members and the schools themselves are calling out for support as they work to do just that. And that is why the LGBT bar invited all ABA accredited law schools to complete a survey regarding each school's practices that specifically affect their LGBTQ plus students. And we use that data to record each school's non-discrimination practices. 67 law schools responded to the survey in our inaugural year, which is a good number, but please go back to your schools, go to our website, make sure all of the schools come in next year. Uh, we also carefully devised a campus climate toolkit as a companion to the survey, and that's the guide to help law schools create that more and welcoming, non-discriminatory environment on their campus. So when they're at a loss, they have a resource. This year also we launched our inaugural Legal Equality and Diversity Academy for Law Students. Yesterday, 10 of our staff and illustrious members ushered in the new program by introducing more than three dozen law students to the history of LGBTQ activism, legal developments in the ongoing movement, and how to implement positive change for the LGBTQ plus population in legal careers. The academy was possible thanks to the support of generous lawyers, professors, judges, and all of you who volunteer your time for, of course, all of our events, but especially for the first ever LEAD Academy to change for this next generation, making it easier for them as they go forward in the profession. So thanks to all of you who help pave the way for future generations of our LGBTQ plus change makers. So in addition to supporting students, the LGBT Bar continues our work uh, throughout the legal world. We lead the effort to ban against panic defenses in courtrooms across the country. These defenses ask a jury to excuse a defendant's violent actions, whether assault or murder, based solely on the victim's sexual orientation or gender identity. And they have succeeded and continue to succeed in acquitting perpetrators of violence against LGBT victims for over 50 years. Eight states have banned the use of this defense including five states in 2019 alone. That is to say, in 2019, we got five states to stop blaming victims of violent crime for being LGBT. We've got nine states pending, likely in some of your jurisdictions. We are counting on you to help us in this campaign. We dropped the Gay and Trans Panic Defense Prohibition Act of 2019, which would stamp out all of this defense in federal courts once and for all, so it's in Congress. So even if you're not in your jurisdiction yet, we are federally, please reach out to us. And now it's my time to thank the incredible LGBT bar staff and board of directors for all of your hard work and ask them please to stand. Staff and board. We have welcomed many new staff members and board members, and I'm incredibly impressed. Thank you all very much. All of our new folks were able to just hop on board, whether you're on the board or if you're a new staff. We so appreciate 
everyone's dedication to making this organization and this signature flagship event a success. So on behalf of the LGBT bar, welcome. I hope that you will walk away from this event reinvigorated with hope. Do I say the audacity of hope? Reinvigorated with hope for the future and confidence, the future and confidence in this social justice movement. I am so happy that you are here, and I look forward to a remarkable 2019 Lavender Law Conference and Career Fair. Thank you.